Hi there, Steve Kaufman here again to talk about language learning. And today I want to talk about reading strategies as an important part of language learning, an important part of motivation. Uh, we know that reading can be a very, very powerful way to learn vocabulary, to get used to the language. Uh, Stephen Krashen talks about free voluntary reading. I'm a big believer, believer in reading. When I have dedicated learning time, I read. Now, not everyone is motivated by an interest in things that makes them want to read. Some people are motivated by other things. But if you're interested in reading as a major learning activity, it's important to keep the fires of your motivation going. Now, I'm going to show you what I do to do that. But everybody has to find their own motivation. All right. First of all, uh, let's talk about a variety. I think it's important to have variety in one's reading. It's very easy as an independent language learner to sort of lose your motivation, lose that fire, get frustrated, feel you're not getting anywhere. So I like a variety. That means that I sometimes go over for the nth time easy texts that I have done before and I vary that with more difficult, more challenging texts where I am picking up more new words and where I'm usually more interested because I'm discovering new things. Now, much of that activity, of course, is done on my iPad where I can access link and I can look up words. And in the case of Arabic, where I have trouble pronouncing new words, I can hear it pronounced in text to speech. And all of that is great. But to make sure that I keep my brain fresh and keep myself motivated through variety, I have introduced now 10-15% of my time on Farsi, which I'm very much at the beginning of. But it lets me struggle with Farsi for a while and then I go back to the Arabic, which then seems a little bit easier. So there's that variety, not only easy and difficult text within Arabic, but two different languages, one a major, one a minor. Another way of introducing variety is to read on paper because, again, I did a little bit of research on this, but we learn differently from a, a digital format, a screen, than we do from something that's written on paper. And I don't fully understand it, but it, it appears that in, in terms of uh, our retention, we have a better sense of an overall context when reading from reading on paper, but we can sometimes pick out specific details of information when reading on a screen. I am sure that the screen is selling, sending some impulses through my eyes to my brain that are different from what I get when reading on paper. So at Link, I have started printing out the, um, the stories that I'm reading that I have read on the screen where I have all this sort of help. I can look up meanings, I can hear them, and then I struggle to read the Arabic here on paper and it's a different experience and I discover things actually words that I didn't know that I felt I knew because I was reading them on the screen in link where I had access to the dictionary and to the sound and stuff like that so again I then do this and go back to the screen I can even print out of course you can't see this very well but I can print out my vocabulary and rather than reading my vocabulary in you know, the sort of activities that we have at Link, I actually read them on paper. So again, I vary the kind of activity that I'm doing. I vary the, the format in which I'm reading. Uh, another thing that I think is important is, oh yeah, and I also do read, you know, I'll flip through this uh, book. So I'm actually getting information about the Arabic language and I'm always keen to read I don't read the English in these explanations, but I read the, you know, if this happens to be an Arabic verb, then uh, I will read it now uh, on paper, which is good discipline for me. And I'm gaining information about the different forms of the verb, which I see in the text. But again, it's kind of reinforced for me when I'm reading it in this book. Similarly, I have this book on Farsi, which isn't very good, by the way. Uh, I One day I'll do a little thing on my uh, Asimil Arabic, which I thought was not a very good book because the content is not very natural. Uh, I have also gone through my Harrop's uh, Arabic and um, it's not bad. 
one of the things you find as you read and you get used to reading and you get re re used to reading in, in Arabic that the script, which seemed painfully small, the font at the beginning is getting a little larger for me. I have a little easier time reading it, but still it's not as easy as reading on my iPad where I can adjust the font size and I get instantly the meaning of different words and stuff. So I did some of that. Uh, you know, I have, I bought this Persian verb book, which I've leafed through and I will get back to. So I have a variety of resources that I use, some digital, some on paper. And I think this variety improves um, the efficiency of my learning. It also maintains my motivation. Another thing you can do is because I, you know, some people are interested to meet people and talk. I don't have that opportunity. Although here in North Vancouver, as I've said, the fact that uh, my doctor is from Iran and shopkeepers are from Iran. There is this motivation to learn Farsi, but my motivation for Arabic is more sort of interest in the culture, the history and so forth and so on. So I have books. I didn't bring up the history of the Arab peoples, but I have a book here about Baghdad, which I'm going to read. But for whatever reason, I started reading this book, Persian Fire, and it is actually written like a novel. It's fascinating. And it talks about the Medes and the Persians and then the Ionian Greeks and Lydia and the Athenians and Sparta. And so you're in that world of 500 BC where Persia is the, the great empire and the various Greek city-states are fighting each other. And I'm right now at the point where the Persians have laid waste to, to Lydia, uh, no, to to uh, Miletus, which is this Ionian city. Uh, and the Athenians are now expecting an attack from the Persians and trying to organize their defense and so forth and so on. So through the language, and of course I did study Greek, and uh, now the Arabs are not yet in the picture here, uh, although undoubtedly lots of Arabic type people were living in the area that was dominated by the Persians. And so reading about the subject or about the history, about the culture is also a way to maintain your motivation. So just a brief discussion of, uh, you know, reading strategies and the importance of variety, variety in terms of what you read, uh, variety in terms of the medium, be it iPad, iPhone, computer, paper, things that I print off of link, books that I might buy. This maintains some variety so that you don't get bogged down. I hope that is useful and I look forward to your comments. Thank you for watching.